what happens during the sleep that makes you rejuvenated that makes you feel fresh and alive Guruji I came across a quote from Buddha he said everything in this universe is interlinked and interdependent so can you help me understand the profound significance of this statement well bhavna as per my own authentic experiences of life i have been able to understand that the whole universe is nothing except pure consciousness simply because so many things are visible around us there are mountains trees buildings furniture and we happen to feel as if universe is something made up of only solids and spaces but even modern science has concluded this truth that there is nothing except energy even the material dimensions and even the hardest solids the science says it is energy only which is say, taking different shapes and since it is energy only so every single entity is vibrating with that energy everybody as an individual is vibrating the trees are vibrating wherever they are the mountains are vibrating wherever they are the rocks are vibrating wherever they are the flowing water is vibrating wherever it is there and the waters of a pond are also vibrating where they are so this vibrational existence is energy only and that is what had been experienced and announced by the spiritual masters sages and seers through the ages they have been telling that it is godliness are god and that is why the energy which science says is energy the spiritual masters had been saying and naming it as god so we can say that in the language of the spirituality this whole existence is composed of god it is only the god who is expressing himself in the form of this infinite existence and the science says it is only the energy which is pervading all through the whole existence and in states of pure consciousness in a state of no mind my authentic experience has been that this universe is nothing but pure consciousness in that experience one is destined to feel that all the objects of the universe as if they are part of a single living organism to the extent that even you will happen to find yourself only part of this whole vibrating universe so to me on the basis of my own authentic experience i would like to tell you that this whole universe is as good as a vibrating organism full of life and everything that the existence contains is nothing but the part of that vibrating organism so we as individuals are not separate from this universe for example you happen to go into sleep and you continue sleeping for about 7 to 8 hours quite in the morning you get up and find that you are filled with new life energy enthusiasm you feel rejuvenated you find yourself more alive 
what happens during the sleep that makes you rejuvenated that makes you feel fresh and alive during sleep only one thing happens you experience oneness with the whole existence you don't feel separate because you are no more there in a state of unconsciousness you get connected wholly to the universe and the universe starts vibrating inside you and that is what makes you rejuvenated in the morning you fail to have that experience simply because you had been unconscious due to sleep this feeling of being separate from the universe is a by product of our mind it is the mind that gives you the impression that you are separate when mind is no more there and you are asleep you happen to experience that oneness and that is why it has been said that if you can experience that oneness with the existence without being unconscious then you become enlightened the difference is very simple you get connected to the energy of this universe while you are sleeping you feel fresh and rejuvenated but if you get connected to the energy of this universe while remaining fully conscious then you get enlightened and that simply means that you pass through a specific state of being in which you are no more separate from the universe you feel that i am not only a part of the universe but you pass through such an experience which makes you feel that you are universe itself there is a difference between the two being a part and being the universe itself and once you can pass through that experience you become enlightened and that is why the scientists of the inner has expressed the same experience that samadhi simply means an experience of oneness with the universe while you are conscious and once you can experience you will find that the statement of buddha is simply an expression of the reality and that expression of buddha has been corroborated by scientific experiments and scientific developments of modern times also and that is the same experience which had been expressed by the sages and seers of the upanishads also they happen to speak sarvam khalu idam brahm and that is why they could say aham brahmas and tattvamasi thank you